pink champagne I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing Hi guys, C Chronicles here and welcome to Unscripted. If you're new, please do consider subscribing. I post vlogs as well as fragrance reviews on this channel and I would appreciate it if you did decide to come on board and click the red subscribe button. Now to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Now on Unscripted today, I have a fragrance haul. Uh, but before I show you the haul, guys, I do feel I, I owe you an explanation of some sort uh, because my uh, content has been uh, not as consistent. I did mention on my first channel, it could have been on this channel as well, that I was not feeling well. I was having pins and needles. I had uh, what's called spinal neuropathy sick in general and then i had a lump form above my tail tailbone uh, and uh, it got infected pretty graphic and then after that i had uh, i consulted the doc doctor obviously uh, because this is like a, a build-up you know something that happens there where it just kind of happens and then all of a sudden uh, by the time you discover it you, you've got this huge growth and stuff like that and it's um it's infected and you've got to go and get you know the drains and whatever and whatever so basically it was the pilonidal cyst okay uh, which is also known as a they say a sinus, a sinus cyst or something like that so uh the sac had gotten infected i was not able to stand for a very long time i was not even able to sit for a very long time so i did come when i was doing the fragrance tray and i explained to you guys that guys i'm not feeling well and i am so thankful to each and everybody who sent their well wishes and to each and everybody who was concerned saying no see take it easy stop working and i wish you know i wish it could be like that where i could just stop working uh, but because i'm a cash paying patient which is how things work around here uh, i had to make sure that i had the money in place so we don't have like medical insurance and stuff. So if you have a problem and it's a problem that needs you to have $5,000 right there, you've got to have it uh, to get help. So basically that is what was happening. So what I had done was I'm, I tried to get uh, content uh, recorded, right? Which was the beginning of the month. Uh, towards the end of last month, at the beginning of the month, I tried to get uh, some content loaded so that during my absence, you, you guys won't feel it that I'm not actually recording from home, I'm actually elsewhere. Why I had to do it that way is YouTube has got this algorithm thing, guys. They will shelve you if you're not, you know, consistent. Uh, some people actually call it YouTube jail, where just not uploading for two, three days or so, you feel it. And YouTube is something that I'm going to confess that uh, I have decided to make work right like not make it work but to make it like an, an income earning thing uh for those who do not know i have a second channel which is way bigger so that's what i'm talking about this channel for now is not yet monetized or anything like that so with the youtube it's something that i had to keep going because i didn't want to get into hospital get checked into hospital after which youtube there has archived me because i haven't been there for two weeks or something like that so anyway today is going to be uh, about a haul uh, i'm still not feeling well i'm supposed to be having bed rest but i just wanted to show you some of the things that i decided to bring right this is not limited to all the things i brought and i did try to vlog the parts that i could I did not vlog the part in the hospital because I just felt, guys, that was going to be too graphic. Uh, I did film what was going on there, minus the actual operation and stuff. So I am going to throw in a vlog, possibly sometime during this week, if I'm able to put the vlog together. Uh, so I just wanted to show you some of the fragrances that I managed to bring. I bought way, way more fragrances than this, but there's a limitation as to the number of fragrances you can fly with. So the fragrances I bought, I had to put the ones that I felt were going to be cleared. And then I left some of the fragrances, uh, you know, to come here via Korea, right? So anyway, let me just get to it. This is like, you know, like a lazy Susan. Uh, let me just show you. So I got the lazy Susan because I'm crazy about storage, guys. And then from Tix... I managed to buy these as well because if you know uh, me so well you know that i am obsessed with minis i am super super obsessed with minis so i had to buy these because i'm still trying to figure out 
what sort of stand I need to use to get those little vials, especially to stand. That is where my biggest problem is. Those little vial vials that just wobble around and stuff. So I bought these to just try them out uh, to see if I will be able you know, to get them to work. And then I also picked this one up as well uh, from Clix uh, because this image is what actually made me think, oh, okay, maybe this one is also going to be something that's going to help in terms of the little vials because I'm still having a, you know, like a tough time. Uh, storing my little minis and those minis are so fragile you leave them there they drop the break that's the end of it and if you know even if they're minis they cost a pretty penny so i hate losing the minis i've lost minis before now anyway as for the uh, middle eastern fragrances i have pink to pink uh violet Hafa. Uh, this is the extension of uh Ajwad. If you've uh, been following Latafa, you know they started with Ashwat and then they released the Pink to Pink. So I have that one, it's gonna be coming on my channel. Uh, and unfortunately, my supplier didn't have the Quinton Bish one. I intend to bring that one. They said they have it ordered, but it's still in shipping. So it's gonna take about 10 to 12 days for it to get to South Africa, after which, um, I'm going to be able to bring it to you guys because I paid for it and all, but unfortunately I don't have it. I don't have it to show you here, right? And then I also got this one, uh, this uh, vanilla, right? This, uh, what you call it? December vanilla. The uh, reason why I bought this one is because I did bring you the rose one. So since these ones are kind of drawing interest at the moment, I thought, okay, let me add this one to this month's haul. That way I can bring you this one as well for those who want to know which one's better than which, right? This one is inspired by Kayali's uh, Sugar Patchouli, Royale Sugar Patchouli, the limited edition. And I'm pretty sure that one is no longer easy to access. So this one works because I do have the Kayali one. If this one works, it might be an alternative. But for now, all these are blind buy, all of them. I never, I haven't smelled them because remember, I just got them delivered and uh, they came in a box. You will see in the vlog when they came, they came in a box, I had to rip the box open and then pack them because I couldn't like, you know, carry them in a box like that. And unfortunately, this is the one part that uh, did not go so well for me. I ordered these two. One should have been the pistachio and the other one should have been the gray one. And it looks like they got it mixed up. You know, I only noticed it that, oh my God, uh, these are, the, you know, two of the same fragrances and couldn't return them. It was too late uh, and it would have delayed everything. So I'm stuck with two pistachios with the hope that maybe Maima is gonna love. I'm pretty sure she will love the DNA though. So anyway, that means one's gonna have to go to her Yay. because <laughs> because I don't need the two, okay? But the plan was to do a comparison of these two on the Middle Eastern channel, right? You wanna compare both two of the same fragrances? No, not two of the same fragrances. I'm saying there's a gray one okay that came together with the pistachio there's a pistachio kahir pistachio and there's kahir something okay. so i would have wanted to bring like a side by side to tell them which one is best so okay. unfortunately I thought, were, I thought you were gonna be like yeah they're they're comparing this. <laughs> and they have the same loss and power yeah it's the same fragrance yeah, but yeah. i got two of them yeah there. yeah <laughs> yeah so unfortunately guys um the comparison will have to come maybe next month because uh, the shipping logistics are quite a, a tricky one when it comes to fragrances, right? Uh, bringing them like this is okay, but there is also a limit as to the number of the fragrances that I have to bring in the country. So these are the ones I had to bring physically, right? And then I had to courier some. I bought more, but I was limited to bringing 10 uh, within the same suitcase, if you know what I mean. So uh, that is the thing. So these fragrances are not coming on this channel, guys, because you know, on this channel, I feature Western fragrances. Uh, they might come when I'm comparing them with, say, say, say one is inspired by a Western fragrance. It might come here when I'm comparing it with a Western fragrance, but these are mostly for my uh, second channel, right? Um, and then I bought this one. Yeah, this is the part where Mimi was laughing. What should have happened here is this okay this is kissa pink and then there's the other one that says called kissa right so these two fragrances are like a not a continuation but they're like from the same line you know when i bring you these i just bring the two of them this one and this one and then you get to choose which one you like so unfortunately for the pistachio it's not going to happen now but it is going to happen soon because 
obviously i like to keep my channel going uh and for those guys that uh for any one of you guys who felt i was not responding uh, to comments remember i said i made videos in advance preloaded them in advance got them to automatically load so exactly. i was not able to keep up with comments and whatever i would reply one or two comments and then just go off the rider that is because i was uh, getting medical attention and i do not delegate anybody to answer my comments uh because i feel it's a personal thing it's pointless getting somebody to answer my comments for me and i do not feel uh comfortable just putting hearts you know just heart 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 heart, heart everything no because somebody takes their time to write a comment an encouraging comment and stuff and imagine you just get a heart from me it to me i feel no it's something that no matter how big both my channels get i will personally personally be replying comments myself with this one i also bought one called uh crisp flora or crisp or something so this one there's two of them but the second one is in the korea so that's going to turn up in maybe like uh, seven to ten days or something like that uh it's from the fade it's a company i intend to explore like i said to you guys it's from the fade so i'm going to bring you the kiss of rose and then that uh, floral crisp or something it comes in a pink box like this i'm just going to do my comparison and to let you know my thoughts on that i also got uh, casa Morando, ideal woman i'm not sure if this one is actually the lira uh clone the reason why i'm not opening them guys is these fragrances have been shaken about and stuff so opening them now is probably not going to like give me a proper uh, first impressions i will definitely open them on the second channel and show you uh, but i just wanted to get it over and done with before i like get into them and stuff and then show you when they've already been opened so this is why i chose to make this one a haul just to show you what i have and then open them and do first impressions in another video right so this one is uh, from Fragrance World, it's Casa Brando. We'll see whether it is a Lira, a Zergio Lira clone or not. And then I have these two. Uh, these are also from Paris Corner. One is called Pear Potion and one is called Mango Punch, right? I don't know which side I should be showing you. Okay, so there's Pear Potion and Mango Punch. Uh, I believe the Mango Punch could be a Willem clone or something like that. And then the Pear Potion, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but i was able to get these ones as a set so i'm going to be able to bring you these ones and tell you uh what i think about them and which ones i think or whether and which one i think is better than the other and then i got this little guess it's whatever i shredded basically i got this one from clicks uh it is one that took a knock during the travel so it came in tatters okay this is guess seductive noir you know, I didn't know for the longest time that Guess seems to be cloning fragrances. Um, I got my Bella Vita Rosa and I thought, oh, that smells a lot like um, like uh, Versace's Eros, you know. And then when I was talking about it, somebody said to me, no, Guess does do clones. They, don't not, they do not purport to be a clone company, but they do do clones and then somebody led me to this they said this is the Mongolian clone now i went into uh clicks and then i uh sprayed it uh and hmm i thought yeah this is Mongolianish to my nose and Mongolian is one fragrance that i like so i'm gonna do a comparison of this to let you know guys whether this is worth it whether this has got the staying power whether they nailed it or not i don't know but i just thought i'm gonna add this one to my collection i bought it together with those uh with these trays you know when i went into clicks i got this uh with the trays so anybody looking for this in south africa it's in clicks at the moment you can go grab yours they even have the red and the blue one and whatever but i didn't have time i was well i did have time but i was like under medication so i had to do my things and fast and then in the duty free shop guys i would have loved to board some uh, but I, I was worried by the fact that my luggage was already containing a lot of fragrances so i just had to buy two but the good news about the two is they are actually five because this is a discovery set okay so i'm going to bring you a collection of the hermes that i have within my collection the duty free shop is called uh the big five it's the biggest in uh, south africa it could even be in africa i don't know okay so i got trezor i am an old soul i know this is um, for some people uh like been there done that one the t-shirt but i love this fragrance i got the uh, trezor uh, from a duty free shop 
And then I got this discovery set, okay? This Jardine Hermes Parfums Jardine Discovery Set. I've always wanted to try these fragrances. Uh, and it was something I thought, oh, well, um, at least I get four at the same time and as much as they're minis. And again, it goes to show why I had to buy the storage containers because I do like minis a lot. Um, I first buy a mini. When the mini nails it, then I go for the bigger bottle. I just like it that way because, believe it or not, in as much as I have all these fragrances flying about in my house, I do get like overwhelmed when things are so many. Uh, so with the minis, I find it's a way of me testing a fragrance and deciding to pull, you know, uh, to, to, to pull the trigger or the move to purchase it full size after I've tested the mini. So uh, these are some of the fragrances that are going to come on this channel because these are Western uh, fragrances. So yeah, guys, I uh, will show you a part two of this haul once the stuff that's coming by road shows up. Because remember I said this was by flight so you're limited as to the number of things you can bring otherwise we have hefty duties uh, they wouldn't say no but uh, you just risk paying like a heavy duty uh, heavy duty as in the taxis you know to bring uh, fragrances so there was that risk where I didn't want to push it right and I thought, okay, fine. Since anyway, the Quinton Beach one, the te te Terra, is not there. I'm just going to bring what I am able to bring. And then the rest can come. I also managed to get a couple of Latafas that I haven't seen doing the rounds uh, on YouTube. I don't know how it works, guys. Sometimes you have Latafas uh, in SA that are not yet in, in Europe. Like when I came with, um, what was the name of that one? I think I was one of the first people to talk about the pinkish patchouli one the blue one i'm going to put it on the screen and some of those fragrances and a lot of people didn't know about them it's only now that people are now talking about them so i think it's the proximity uh between uh the united arab emirates to south africa that you get some of these fragrances first and then some of them go there but the quinton bish one i think is just one that everybody is grabbing so i wasn't able to get that one but i paid for it and my supplier you know is one person that has never let me down so as soon as they get it it's gonna come probably not gonna make it on this month but definitely next month we're gonna have that and the few latafas that i found that were new so yeah guys uh that is the stuff that i have I'm going to throw in the vlog, you know, for this channel. I even did a Western Wednesdays, uh, but I may have to push it for the next Wednesday. I don't know because I did do a Western Wednesday before I was admitted in hospital. But Wednesday came and went. I was sedated. I forgot about posting that video. So now to post Western Wednesdays on a Thursday or Friday, it's kind of like, mm, okay. Uh, but I had that one lined up. So it was just an issue of this, both channels ended up suffering because I was in and out and in and out. Uh, but why I forced myself, regardless of you guys wishing me well wishes, and I thank you, I thank each and every one of you that was wishing me well wishes, that was telling me, take it easy. I thank you guys. I'm way on my way, way to recovery. Everybody who said, take it easy, see, stop working. I, I couldn't, you know, take the risk of not being consistent and being one of those people that disappear and stuff like that. I'm not yet there, guys. And we are operating, you know, in a country where each and everything you do, you've got to work for it and it's cash. We don't have, you know, these insurances and stuff where say you are sick, uh, the insurance then comes in and, and sorts you out. A lot of people actually, uh, in my country end up dying of some of conditions that are curable especially these where you need to go under the knife and whatever they end up you know losing their lives because if you don't have the cash in hand you know nothing's gonna work for you if you're buying a house you're buying a cash if you whatever you're buying it unless you're one of those that are in the few corporate companies uh, that are still working the normal way if you're one of those people you're okay but if you're self-employed like myself everything is cash and I'm gonna say about 80%, 80% of people in my country, 85% even are self-employed, okay? So it, that is just how it works. They, we do have medical aid, but if I am to put myself on medical aid, it costs over a hundred, you know, because I, I wouldn't feel good putting myself on medical aid and not putting the kids. 
myself and the kids works out to about 187, 190 bucks per month just for medical aid. So in most cases, if you have that type of money, you save it up, you save it and save it and save it for when the day comes when you really need uh, to go into hospital because you've got an emergency and stuff like that. So that was the sole reason why I had to post in as much as I was ill. It was not like I was coming out of hospital, recording, going back. And no, I did pre-record my videos just to make sure that when I'm absent, you guys are not going to feel it. And then I'm going to come back and explain myself to say, this is what's been happening. I'm going to catch up on each and every comment. I do not believe in just putting hearts on comments. I literally prefer to just take the same time that a subscriber has taken to ask a question. I'll take the same time to answer it. it I just feel it's a bit rude to just put hearts there or to have it automated answering, you know, automatically. Oh, yes, yes, good, good. Because YouTube does have that as an option. But uh, the wording there is limited uh, where you, you end up just, you know, saying the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to attend to the comments that are piling up. Uh, I'm going to try and drop a review of one of these fragrances on my second channel. Uh, the Western Wednesdays, we may have to push to the Wednesday, uh, but I am going to try on this channel to put together a vlog of what was going on after, of course, I dropped this video, and then you can catch up with what's going on. I'm going to tell you or giving you the progress of uh, how I feel. I'm scheduled to see the doctor next month, uh, but it's not going to be as long as I did now because it's just to make sure that they monitor me. Meanwhile, here I can be seeing, you know, the doctor as well in case anything flares up, but I'm going to go back to my doctor in South Africa where he just makes sure that everything is fine and then that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was not too long for your liking. I just needed to make sure that we are on the same page. I hope everybody is well and thanks to everybody who did wish me well wishes as well. C Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we'll meet in another one, guys. I love you as always. Stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.